what's going on today I'm gonna to be talking about their leaked R9 480 and 480X so obviously it's a leak it's not anything official it's not set in stone but they do look pretty accurate to what you would expect a 480 and a 480X to be like so I will leave a link in the description to videocards.com this is where I'm getting all my information and they do have some leaked 3D mark uh, benchmarking scores for the R9 480 and 480X. So looking at the benchmarks, they made a score and it looks like the R9 480 is above the GTX 970 and slightly below the R9 390X. Now that's a pretty good spot for a mid-range card, which is what we're expecting the 480 to be. The 4, or not the 480, the 380 was about $200, so I'm expecting the 480 to be released around the same price. And for $200 to get performance above a 970 and slightly below a 390X is pretty phenomenal. That's going to be a really nice price to performance card. Probably the best mid-range card because it's looking pretty good but we need to wait and see what the 1060 looks like from Nvidia to really speculate now moving up to the 480X it's performing above a 980 and 200 points below an R9 Fury now that is very impressive to me absolutely incredible for a card that I'm expecting to be around $240 maybe I don't want to necessarily say $250 because that's what the 380X was advertised as and several times I've seen it go down to like 220 and even 200 on some sales so I'm not really expecting it to be that expensive but so we'll have to wait and see on that and now what's really impressive right below the 1080 appears to be the R9 480X in Crossfire. I looked at the 3D Mark score, and right now it says generic VGA graphics card, so obviously it doesn't recognize the graphics card. Vendor, AMD, number of cards, 2, Crossfire. So obviously it is a Crossfire configuration, but what makes me believe it's the 480X is in the same exact specs as the 480, so it's pretty safe to say that it's the 480X in crossfire and it looks really impressive like just to see what would be two mid-range cards perform very close to the 1080 obviously the 1080 still outperforms it to a pretty pretty nice degree but to see two mid-range cards perform at that level like we you can put two 960s together and you'd never get a 980 ti but just to see this level of competition coming out from AMD is really amazing. AMD really needs to get some of their market share back because last year they just got destroyed. Now towards the end of the last year they did recover some of that because people started to realize AMD did have a really nice price to performance ratio but people are looking to AMD and hoping that they can actually pull out something good this year otherwise AMD will most likely lose what little market share they have left and Nvidia will be the king of graphics cards completely but these benchmarks really do show that AMD is working hard to come back and if this is accurate if this is the 480 I believe that AMD will come back and they will start to dominate the graphics card market because we don't even know what the 490 looks like. We don't know what the new Furies will look like. It's going to be a nice experience to see AMD on top. Hopefully it'll be a more competitive environment between AMD and Nvidia. But that's all I have to say. If you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace.